piece of paper like this, and it says the American Jobs Act will do this, and it will cost this much, and this is how it will work, and it gets sent to a committee. It gets sent to a group of senators and House members who are in charge of jobs. And they take a look, look at it, and they, what they call, mark it up. They go, well, we like most of it, but we, instead of having money for that much money for teachers, we should put more money in school construction, a little less in teachers. Or instead of building more airports, we should build more roads. And, they, and then they take it, and they go to the floor. They call the floor. They go to where you see the Congress where they work, and the Senate, and the House. And they put it up for vote. And then they vote on it. And sometimes the House passes a bill that's slightly different than the Senate. And then they sit down, they have a couple guys from the House and a couple from the Senate sit down and say, let's work out this difference. And they say, okay, uh, let's do a little bit more on roads than airports. And they go, okay, we agree. And then they take it back and they vote on it again, and then they send it down to the President. He either signs it, pocket vetoes it, or vetoes it. And depending on how controversial it is, it shouldn't take very long. And that's why an American Jobs Bill, since everything in the bill is something that Democrats and Republicans have supported before, we think it should pass real quick because people need help real quick. So, okay, I know I'm supposed to leave, but who, who didn't ask a question? And I think... Okay. Um, what about your my dog can I got something. Oh, uh -oh. Like this, yeah. <laughs> no, bring him back here. Yeah. Look, here's the deal. Now, guys, I brought something down for the guys. Can anyone play Chris? <laughs> this has the Vice President of the United States on it, okay? And so I figure you guys. Now, most guys I don't I like don't like to come down. But this is Champ, my dog. And he is a German Shepherd, and he is such a cool dog. And I keep kidding President Obama. He has a really neat dog, and his dog's name is Bo. We joke it, so I say, my dog's smarter than your dog. But this is the sweetest dog in the world, and we had little champ dogs made up. And so I'm going to give all you girls a champ dog. And if there's any left, if you guys want a champ dog, okay, well, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Anybody wants a champ? We only have 14 of them, I promise you. I will send you, you tell me, how, I'll let you hand out the rest. Okay. Okay? And you tell me how many short, and I promise you, I'll send you some more champ dogs. So everybody wants hey, that's great. Dog, right? Thank you. Oh, by the way, the champ comes to work with me sometimes. He comes huh? right in the vice president's office. He walks down to the Oval Office with me. Some he is the best, sweetest dog in the world. And guess what? You know what he likes to wear? You see, there's a little collar here, and it says on it says Champ Bite. We know what the Secret Service gave me. They gave me a little collar like this that says Secret Service on it. He walks around and acting like he's a Secret Service dog. <laughs> he thinks he's a big shot. And he's still a puppy. Pardon me. Well, I, you know, he travels on the plane with me. Um, he traveled with me to Florida last time I came down. Um, but since I'm coming down today and just turn around and go, you know, maybe next school I go, I'll bring him. Okay.